Hi guys, Jackie here. Welcome to the next YouTube video. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. We've been crazy busy, but today I want to cut to the chase and tell you what this video is all about. We're going to be going over our Tumblr press. We do sell these and I know a lot of our customers have been asking for a rundown of exactly how to set it up, how it works, why is it different than everybody else's. So let's get to it. When you get your Tumblr press, the first thing you're going to notice is that it comes with a skinny Tumblr attachment and it also comes with one of these attachments. This comes automatic in every Tumblr press. This attachment is meant to press these tumblers. So because of the angled side here, you can see that it's angled. It is hard to get a good press on those when you're using a more flat and not tapered um, attachment. So that is where this comes into play. This is because these were one of our best sellers when we were doing high volume. So that's why I included this attachment in all of our tumbler presses. It kind of sets you apart. It lets you press something a little bit different than what everyone else has out there. So you can fit up to a 30 ounce skinny tumbler. This is a 30 ounce skinny tumbler. So it is long enough to get a 30 ounce in there, which means you're also able to press two mugs at one time. So coffee mugs, like um, 15 ounce coffee mugs like this. That's our design. You can find that in our design shop, but you can fit two in here and press two mugs at one time. So it kind of ups production there too. Now I wanna show you how to change the attachment if you need to change it. All you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew all of these screws here. Now, one thing to know is that it does come with the four screws on this side and then the four screws on that side. So there is usually gonna be four on your skinny tumbler. But then what you're gonna do is you're going to unscrew this guy here. This is where the um, source of electric comes into play. So that's how it gets heated up there. So you're gonna take that off and then all you gotta do, but just be very careful because these edges are very, very sharp. So just be very careful when you do this, but you're just gonna squeeze it together and pull it out. So just squeeze it on the end and pull it out. Now you have your attachment out and it's time to add your 30 ounce tumbler attachment. So you're going to take this guy, try to do this with one hand, so bear with me. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna squeeze it and you're going to put it in. Now it comes right here in the middle. It's important to put it in the middle. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to take your screws and just screw them into the holes here to secure it. Make sure it's nice and tight. If you have any trouble getting it in the hole, then you will just pull this slightly so that it kind of flattens out this, uh, this metal edge here. You get just get all four of those. Again, make sure that there are two holes on the side so that is in the middle. And then you're going to take your plug here and you're going to put it in with the knob side down. There's a little insert side down so that it fits. You can see where it's gonna go to fit here. Let's see if I can show you. So you see the knob, just so that you can see what I'm talking about. There's a knob or a cutout that's gonna fit into the plug there. So just make sure it's pointing down and then just wiggle it in until you get it all the way in there and then just screw it nice and secure. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna show you how it works. Now, before we go press anything, I wanna show you how to tape the transfer onto this tumbler. So the first thing I did is I made my transfer about three and a half inches tall by three. This one is a square, so it's three and a half by three and a half. And all I do is I just line up. I just make sure I cut it nice and straight at the top. I'm gonna to line it up so that this is nice and straight here. So that the top of the, the edge of the paper is aligned with the top of the tumbler. And I don't really go much wider than three and a half inches wide because then it starts to, um, unless you warp your image, it starts to uh, curve up because of the taper on the tumbler. And then all I do is I just put two pieces of tape here, one and one. And then I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna put the other transfer on the other side. I just kind of eyeball it here. But what you could do is you could also take a dry erase marker and mark your center of of this transfer and mark your center right across if you have trouble lining it up. That's what I used to do. Now I can kind of eyeball it because I've done plenty of these, but that's a good beginner tip for you. And then the, the tape that I'm using, just always use clear tape. Don't use yellow tape. Yellow tape tends to leave marks, um, at least has more of a chance to leave marks. So just make sure you're using clear tape. And then I'm just putting one and two pieces on each side. And then that's it. Then you're ready to press this. That's there. You don't have to do anything else, nothing crazy. So let's go over to the press and turn it on. Now our press over here is where the on and off switch is. So you turn it on and you just gotta wait like a second for it to flip on. It takes, it's a little bit of a delay sometimes. So you just gotta wait a second. And then here's where I'm gonna show you how to change the temperature and the time and all that. So you're gonna hit set 
And for these particular tumblers, again, we're using our 30 ounce attachment. For these particular tumblers, we're gonna press it at 356. And if you wanted to change your temperature, you just use the up and down arrows. And then you're gonna hit set and you're going to press them for 60 seconds. But same thing, you're going to use the arrows to change your um, seconds on here, your timing. All right, and then once you're done there, you just hit set again and you're good to go. That's all you need to know as far as changing any um, settings there. So we're gonna let that warm up and then we're gonna get this guy pressed. While we're waiting for this to warm up, one thing I always like to say is make sure you have a heat gun, a thermal heat gun that you can test your press with because sometimes they do end up running hot. It's just the nature of these presses. But when you use it, you have a red thermal dot that hits that heating pad and it will tell you exactly how hot your heat pad is running. So if it's running hot and you need to adjust the temperature, let's just say you want to press it at 356, but it's running a little hot and you see it's running at about 386, then you would change your temperature here to adjust for um, the pad running hot. So that's just a quick tip I like to give anytime I'm doing these um, uh, tumbler press tutorials. Okay, so you can see that it has hit the optimal temperature, which is 356 degrees, and we are going to put this in so you can see how I'm putting it in here. So I'm going to turn it so that the blank space is pointing up towards me. So I'm gonna do that. And all you gotta do is just close it. This is the pressure, if you can see my hand. So I'm, it's, I can press it with one hand. There's a little bit of resistance, but there's nothing else that you have to do once you close it. So we're gonna wait for that to count down. I will show you the side here so you can see how good it's getting around. You can always tell in a heat press if there's any gaps, whoops, if there's any gaps right here around your tumbler, you're gonna have an issue. That's gonna be where your ghosting comes into play or anything like that. So this presses it perfectly around the sides. The pressure is awesome and it gets this tumbler so good. So let's wait for that to count down and we'll meet back here. So this is almost done, but as this counts down, if you ever see your temperature drop from 356, that's normal. If the tumbler is cold, the temperature is gonna drop when you first put it in, and that is totally normal, as long as it comes back up to 356. Okay, so that's done. What I like to do is you can see on the edge that this image is pretty much on the edge of this heating pad, if you see what I'm talking about. So right here, it kind of hits that edge. Now, one thing to know about tumble presses in general is that on the edges of the entire pod, it does not get as hot as the middle. So because of that, you might have some fading. When that happens, you're just gonna turn it. And now I'm just gonna press the sides for like 10 seconds while it's still hot. So while it's still hot, turn it, press the sides just in case it was too close to the edge of this heating pad. Again, because the heating pad does not get as hot on the edges as it does in the middle, you're just going to give it a press for about 10 seconds. And then that's it, then you're done. So we're gonna go take a look at this image and I'll see you in a minute. This is always the most nerve wracking part for me because now I'm gonna take it off. Hopefully it came out perfect. So I can show you, go, oh, and it did, I love it. I love it, so you can see how good this printed on that we got as close to the edge as we could on the top so I could show you how good that pressure hits these 30 ounce tumblers and same thing on the other side it just got everything absolutely perfect around towards the top perfect pressure I absolutely love 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 this attachment on this press again because not these most of these presses don't come with this attachment so that's why I included it these sell so amazing for us because not everybody has them so that is how you use the 30 ounce press. One thing I do wanna show you is I forgot to do something very important and I forgot to wipe down my tumbler. So you can see there is a little piece of hair that got stuck in the coating. It's not gonna come off. That happens when you don't wipe down your tumbler. And one other thing that I do. I take a little bit of air, um, this like duster spray stuff, and I usually just spray to get rid of any lints that might be hanging out there. If you don't cover your press, especially if you're pressing apparel near your tumbler press, there can be little little pieces of lint that get stuck in that heating. If you don't use that air compressor, you could get a piece of lint stuck into your tumbler. But that is it for today's tutorial on how to press a 30 ounce taper tumbler in the TCB Co. tumbler press. If you're looking for a tumbler press, they are on tcbblankshop.com along with all of our designs and blanks and all that fun stuff. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.